Okay, let's talk about EEG brain training using the MuseCom headband. If you want to cheat and not do some aspects of this neuro training and neuro coaching program, don't cheat on this one. This is the most important thing that you can do in our time together. If you don't have the time or the energy for the other biofeedback training sessions, I get it, life's busy. And But if you're gonna blow something off, maybe blow them off, but don't blow off the brain training. You know that I am a neurofeedback practitioner for a reason, because it's the thing that works the most, the most easily and effortlessly for people to help them bring their brains and their lives online so that they can get more out of life. So the way that you're going to use your EEG brain training uh, with the MuseCom is use your MuseCom every day if you can but I prefer you to set a goal of five of seven days so that you're successful. Remember, we're gonna celebrate the small wins. We're gonna set ourselves up for success, but our time together is short. So if you can try to use the MuseCom headband five times a week right now, in the end, we're gonna build a habit of three times a week. But for now, I wanna shift your brain as quickly as possible. So let's shoot for five of seven. Okay, so start using your headband five times a week for at least five minutes. So we're gonna start with five minute increments. Five minutes might be challenging for you for a while and you and I will discuss this in your coaching sessions, especially as I look at the data. So at least start with five minutes and then our goal is going to be to build up to longer and longer sessions incrementally. And we can build up minute by minute if we want. I tend to like to do it in two minute in intervals. So you start with five minute session and then when you're feeling ready, you can build up to a seven minute session. And you can do that without talking with me. You can be on a half hour session. The only thing that's going to happen is diminishing returns. It's not going to do anything negative to you. It's just going to be harder for you to be successful. So let's build up. And what that will show me is if you build up to seven sessions and then your brain starts to unravel a little in the graph, you and I will know that you are successful for five now and seven is a challenge. But that doesn't mean we're gonna shy away from the challenge because we're gonna work you up to at least 15 minute sessions of getting your brain in the zone. That will be a game changer for you. Okay, so what are you actually doing in your sessions? Using the MuseCom app, it's only auditory feedback, but you can choose the type of auditory feedback that you prefer. I always listen to the ambient noise just because that's what I like. I like to just be able to focus in on the noise and make the noise as least as possible. And then I focus in on the birds. The birds are the positive feedback and the decrease in the sound is the positive feedback. The negative feedback is the increase in the sound. If you choose any of the weatherscape types of sounds, for example, the beach, what will happen is the beach will be choppier and louder the less regulated your brain is, the less your brain is in calm focus. The more you get your brain calm and focused, you'll get a light little beach wave that sounds calm. And then if you really calm your brain, it's like you're sitting on the beach. If you really calm your brain, birds will perch on your shoulders and you'll hear tweets in the left ear if your left hemisphere is calm. You'll hear tweets in your right ear if your right hemisphere is calm. So your goal is to try to calm your brain and get the sound to be as least as possible and try to get as many birds. But if your brain gets away from you, don't worry about it. That's okay, that's going to happen. So get ready for it. So if you're sitting there and you get the beach sound to be nice and calm wave, what will happen is you'll say in your mind, oh my gosh, I've gotten a bird or my brain is calm. That thought will spike you back into a very active brain pattern because you've just had a thought or multiple thoughts. But it's called a recovery when you're able to bring your brain back down into the calm state. Recoveries are great too. We're going to measure your progress by the amount of calm you can produce and the amount of recoveries you have in the short run. So try to get in sessions at least five times a week, five days a week. If you wanna do multiple sessions a day, go for it. That will only be good for you. But remember, set yourself up for success. Make your baseline 
five sessions a week. And then if you want anything else is gravy, so you're always feeling good about it. Okay, get started. I can't wait to see that data and to go through it with you. And then mostly see how that's producing more calm, focused state in your world. Okay, get going. Don't skip the brain training. And I'll see you in the next training lesson.